Good morning to each of you on this third week of Lent. My name is Jim Lapp, a resident on the South Campus. As we observe Jesus in his final weeks of life on the earth, we recall one of the Beatitudes he spoke in the Sermon on the Mount. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy, Matthew 5. Mercy describes the character of Jesus in his interactions with people, right up to the time that he showed mercy to the two bandits who hung on the crosses to his left and to his right. Hear another story from Jesus about mercy from Luke 17. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, 10 men with skin disease approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. One day, on his way to his own death, Jesus heard the cry of 10 men ostracized from society due to leprosy. In addition, some of them were Samaritans rejected as unclean by Jewish people. As outcasts, they had nowhere to go except to beg for, with, for mercy from those who went, passed by them. When they heard Jesus was going by, they cried in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. In quick fashion, Jesus told them to go to the priests, and as they went, they were healed. The story adds that one interesting little detail, that a rejected Samaritan was the one who turned back to thank Jesus for his healing. This brings us back to the beatitude of Jesus. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are those who, like Jesus, show mercy to others. It's one thing to need mercy and another to show mercy. We can quickly beg for mercy when we're in need, but mercy is not a gift to be hoarded to ourselves. It's a gift to share with those around us. This beatitude of Jesus was focused not on those who receive mercy, but says that those who extend mercy will receive mercy. In another story, Jesus described a man robbed and beaten lying along the road. The religious leaders came by but failed to stop and help the man. Maybe they even prayed as they went by. But it took a Samaritan who was in touch with his own need for mercy who stopped to give help to the man. It makes me think of how often I have driven past someone along the road that appeared to have a breakdown with their car. Sometimes I breathe a prayer for them as I go by, but how often do I show mercy by stopping to assist them? Who of us hasn't needed mercy? likely frequently throughout our lifetime. As we age and become more dependent on others, we all crave mercy. As we receive mercy and are grateful, can it also move us to be more merciful toward others? Maybe we've heard their story so often we're tired of listening. Maybe we have decided we can't help them and so we don't listen anymore. Perhaps it's only in listening that we begin to show mercy. Perhaps it's kind words to those who feel discouraged and anxious. Words of care, kindly and spoken to people in need, is a way of extending mercy. Or sometimes it may simply be merciful to look someone in the eye so that they feel recognized and valued, maybe your spouse or a stranger or staff person. Mercy will take on many forms. Thankfully, we who are Atlantis Homes are part of a merciful community where the value of compassion is part of the mission of this organization. While the staff seek to be compassionate to us, do we remember to thank them for the mercy shown to us as residents here? Occasionally in the listserv, residents will publicly thank the staff for ice cream or special events that honor the residents who live here. Those who have received mercy can be show their mercy by being grateful. Recently, I came across a song by Mary Gowther titled, Mercy Now. In the song, the writer sings, 
my father could use a little mercy now. The fruits of his labor fall and rot slowly on the ground. My brother could use a little mercy now. He shackled to his fear and his doubt. My church and community could use a little mercy now. In fact, every single one of us could use some mercy now. Every single one of us could use some mercy now. A few weeks ago, I had a conversation with a son of mine. I asked to speak with him. <clears throat> I learned that as a young child and is growing up, sometimes he felt a bit neglected. I felt sad and sorry for how, as parents, we had allowed that to happen. So we met and I listened and apologized. I could not change it, but it could offer my sincere regrets. My son listened and showed me mercy. His attitude and response to me meant a great deal. I cannot relieve his early years, but I can offer my regrets. He showed mercy by not heaping guilt on me, by receiving my care and my love. It means a lot to receive mercy when you fail in some way with those you love. When we receive mercy, we can better show mercy to others. I wonder when you have experienced mercy in life from a loved one or from a stranger. In 1992, while traveling in Asia, one evening we flew into the airport in Bangkok, Thailand. We were all alone and everyone else around us was a stranger. As we groped to find our luggage and our place for lodging, a man came up to us and offered to assist us. Very quietly, he guided us through the steps of collecting our baggage and to find a taxi to take us to the place where our lodging arrangements were awaiting us. To us, it was like an angel sent from God to assist us. And then the man disappeared. We thanked God for the mercy we received as strangers in a place where we were strangers. When have you received mercy? When have you shown mercy? Among the themes from Lent are the examples of Jesus in offering mercy to those in need. What opportunities might you have during this season to follow the example of Jesus in showing mercy? Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Please pray with me. Merciful God, you who went to the cross as an act of mercy for humankind, make us aware today of when we can show mercy to our neighbors or to staff in their care of us. Instead of complaining about something that disappoints us, free us to give mercy and to be grateful for all the ways mercy has been shown to us. Amen.